Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna start everything when everyone is inside. When everyone is inside. When everyone is inside. I'm excited. Hope you're excited. Anywho. I think let's just get this going hi guys thank you so much thank you so much for joining thank you for joining I'm just waiting for my guest to join but at the moment thank you for joining Thank you for joining. I'm just waiting for my guest. I hope you guys are good. Even though there's one person, I hope you're good. Just remember that this is not a discussion. And I'm excited. I'm excited to have you guys here. It's been a while. 2023, we're coming with bigger things, exciting topics. We're going to talk about everything, guys. We're going to talk about everything, 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 everything. And I am just waiting for my guest to arrive and then we will literally start this. We will literally start this. We will start this. And I am excited to have you here. It's such an honor. It really is. It really is such an honor. everything today talking everything I'm excited oh okay <laughs> hi hello just trying to figure this live thing out <laughs> good. It's a, for everything. I'm How are good. you? How are you? I'm good. Oh, thank you so much for for honoring my invite. It's such an honor to have you on my platform, and I'm excited for what we're gonna be talking about today. And yeah, I'm really excited. I think it's really gonna be a life changing conversation because it's one of the conversations that we. I think we're afraid to have, but I really think we really need to have yeah. this because we we need ourselves as well. So I'm honored, and, and I think let's just get down to this. And everyone in the comments, you are part of this conversation. If you have anything to say, please do. It's not a conversation with just ourselves. You guys are part of this as well. So yeah, um, basically, this is just a sisterhood chat. So we'll be talking about everything about women yeah. empowerment, feminism, everything, girl to girl, hate, you name it. So we're just going to be talking about feminism and what that is, how is it in our country, and just, yeah, what is feminism, literally, yes. Yo, feminism. <laughs> I think there's two parts to this thing, because... Ten years ago, there was feminism, which meant we are trying to um, make sure that women have equal rights. They can work politically, socially, economically, the works. And I feel like feminism today is something way different. <laughs> today is different. I say this because, and I'm not even going to call it feminism. I'm going to call it modern day feminism, where we live like oh i don't need a man i don't need to get married men are trash you know what's going on <laughs> i feel like it's lost <laughs> it's lost the meaning behind what it really should be about feminism should be about let's empower one another we can do this i can be a wife i can be a mother i can be mm -hmm. a ceo you know and that's good stuff but right now it's about we don't need men like it's a hate train for men so I used to be a feminist, but I unsubscribed because 
the modern one is just is is hectic <laughs> because i literally hear you when you say that um things have changed you know cuz i literally see this a lot on social media how people declare to be feminists but like what they're fighting for is totally different because i was so shocked because i knew that feminist being a feminist is something that yeah. we're fighting for our rights you know we want to be equal to the men i want to have a ceo right. position you know but now it's a thing of and i don't need a man i can be independent you know and we're just saying that yes you can't be independent but you do need someone you know like being alone is yeah. not good but you do need someone I mean it was mentioned in the bible as well like relationships you know, are good a you plan. know so <laughs> I also want to touch on the fact that um you mentioned that there's a modern um feminism as well and I want to touch on that how is it now is modern fem- feminism a thing is it bullying to me now are we are we <laughs> bullying me now you couldn't have said it better like at this point we are bullying these men we are like we're tearing them down we're acting like uh 10 years ago 20 years ago these men aren't the reason we have houses i mean who built a house i like um this guy called andrew andrew tate on youtube he says something like you guys say you don't need a man you can do everything a man can do but again let's go 100 years ago when there was no houses who was building who was sweating who built the bridges who yes. you know like we can we can really fight for our rights without dragging a certain group down and i feel like right now it's no longer the the, the good fight we're no longer fighting that yay we want to work we want to do this because all that is happening we are free as a woman right now you can literally mm-hmm. do anything you want to do with a little help but i feel like what we doing is bullying like we literally bullying men and these women that speak of feminism and are like we don't need men they're the same women in private that are sometimes unhappy you know a lot of the time actually if we got to be real yes and, and you know what is so funny is that um feminism is a thing that all of us can be men or women it's not just the uh, a thing that women are supposed to be men are also so they can be um feminists yeah. you know and it's like so f- when as a feminist you are now dragging down men you are bullying them you know it's so um funny to see how on um internet um you know how plus size girls are being worshiped you know but we we don't say anything yeah. about men we don't talk about men get- we don't talk about what we deserve men. hey we are high you value know, we want this we want that we want this but men are out here settling and not even saying a word they're not complaining it's just us who are like i want a man with this she must have this she must be there and men don't demand the same from us mm-hmm. so at this point is it is it freedom is it fairness or is it bullying it really it's bullying right now because i think feminism right now yeah. is bullying that's what it is that's what it is and i genuinely just have a question women empowerment and feminism is it the same thing you know is it the same thing it's a good question i i think it's similar it's very similar because mm-hmm. it's about i mean if you look at feminism the definition is fighting people who advocate for women's rights for economic freedom for jobs for all of that and i think if somebody is fighting for you to be free and get these things that men have always had then it's empowering at the same time so it's very thing it's just different ways yeah so it's different ways definitely so i just want to talk about women empowerment as well you know the whole idea of empowering women and i really believe that it's good but i have this is like are we seeing it in our country you know are we seeing women in leadership roles that could be like okay this is really empowering us as women when you really take down the definition of women empowerment it is so huge when you look on like look in the internet you know like 
Are we seeing women in ministry at church? Are they preaching at church? Is that even allowed? Mm-hmm. You know, there's like a lot of questions, you know. So what would you say about that? I think like the reason feminism started was to empower women. And I think when I look at us right now in 2023, we are really empowered. Like there's no excuses, you know. I, I recently found out that when you look for a job, there's a lot of jobs, it's law that, that says so this amount of women need to be hired. You know, it doesn't matter if there's a hundred men or what's going on. This amount of women, there's always space for you guys to be hired. And we are already empowered. I mean, look at Instagram, for example, content creators. I'm going to mention a few. For example, Mbali, right? She, 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 she's the owner of the company Hermosa, the makeup company. She's a boss. Like <laughs> she's a boss. She's running her own boss. business. She's she's living, you know. And in politics, there's women in 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 what is this? this um, like your mother, for example. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> you know, women. <laughs> women are killing it. We in positions like there's no need to bully men. And I feel like when we were crying and saying we we need to have more rights we need to do more we need more opportunities men were part of the reason that we got that opportunity because they were already owning companies they were already in big positions and they heard our cry and said okay how can we help and together women and men came together and put the system that we we are operating in today so there's a lot of women i can name many of them in south africa you know even in my personal life there's women who are start more, more women are starting businesses more women are teaching their 9 to 5 they are making money they are buying houses and i think the reason a lot of them have become so disrespectful and so like bullying people men specifically is because they are in power now now they're driving that car now they're in that position they're making money so yes we are empowered in South Africa and all over the world. So just a personal question because I know for myself that um I used to be a feminist, you know, and I used to, you know, ah oh, this is good, you know, we have to have equal rights yeah. and everything. Is it good? I need to know when did you start changing your views on everything? When did you start realizing that no man, what I'm actually following is not it this 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 is when i'm unsubscribing <laughs> okay so it. what made me snap and be like i man do 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 this is no longer what i signed up for yo many reasons the first one was when i started seeing women having like divorce parties <laughs> oh mm-hmm. i mean me, when you celebrate the ending of something so beautiful you are indirectly saying it was never a good thing or you're directly saying hey everyone watch me i'm celebrating this horrible thing and therefore kids are watching younger mm. girls are watching they're going to watch and be like okay this is normal and it's not normal another thing that made me unsubscribe was when women um were like i, I want a man like this a high value man he has to earn a certain amount right he has to buy me flowers take care of me take me on vacations like the whole thing and the same woman would not be prepared to hold that man down when he's financially having an issue you know it's like somehow us women we, feminism started as we want to be equal in the same space but now it's become that no i am up there i'm higher i'm amazing therefore you cater to me i don't have to do anything in return for you you cater to me i'm the prize yes we are the prize the bible says when you find a wife you find a good thing however we are taking it to a higher level we're taking it like overboard and i think that's one of the things there's a list but that's one of the things that made me say this is not right anymore doesn't look right doesn't sound right and it's definitely not going to you know change the culture for the better it's not going to help us get, um teach younger people to be better role models it's teaching them that divorce is to be celebrated is teaching them that 
I don't have to bring anything to the table. And when I say to the table, I mean, you, even if you're not working, a lot of women are housewives, but bring something to the table, clean the house, make a meal, you know, do your part. But it's like now women, they are God, they are above, and we don't want to hear what, what men have to say. So, yeah. yeah. Funny thing, you know. With my generation, you know, when you when you say something like that, trust me, with my generation, we are easily gonna get so offended because, you know, you're saying something like, um, you know how my generation, like the girls are like, like ah, I want a man that is like this and that yeah. and that, you know, and now easily it's gonna be a thing that like now I have to lower my standards. Now it's gonna go back to a thing whereby, do you know whose mother I am? Do you know who's who? Do you know who's yeah. what I am? You know, so how do we escape from that? How do we, I don't know, come down from where we are? Like, tell people that it's okay. You know that we do not need to be like my man needs to buy me this every day. He needs to be earning six figures and stuff like that. Like, is that really necessary, guys? So <laughs> are we being for real? We sh- you know? I think we should just humble ourselves number one because there's too much pride in there we need to come all the way down like come to reality and i feel like we are watching reality shows we are watching things all over tv that are telling us you are the prize girl and you don't have to give anything in return (laughs) and i feel like where where we start is we, we we filter out the type of things we watch right what are you watching how is it you know impacting your life are you watching um for example nothing against the show housewives or something is it about me and my money my husband's money or my money like humble yourself come down to earth understand that this life is hard you know just for a lot of women are unemployed like let's start the you want a high value man you want him to be six figures what are you doing like you think you deserve (laughs) what are you asking from someone can you do it in return when when let's say when something happens when he loses his job can you take care of him the same way you're demanding i want this and i want that can you put yourself in his shoes one day and be willing to do it for him. If you can't, then who are you to come here and demand this and this and that? Of course, you know, the, the whole system of a man and a woman is that a man is a provider. I'm old fashioned, I believe in that. But I also believe that if you are that type of, you know, woman who wants a man to be a provider, you need to be a certain type of woman. There comes a certain like work for work within yourself. Work with yourself. Are you are you submissive? Because these days, to be honest, mm-hmm. if you say the word submissive, people lose it. <laughs> yeah. They lose it. They lose it, and they don't understand that it's 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 the natural exchange between a man and a woman. I provide for you. You love me. You respect me. And of obviously he will respect you as well we're not saying submission is yeah i mean i have need, i have to use and, and 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 be abused no there's a difference between abuse and submission so if you want that man with money rich all of that understand that a lot has goes into you supporting him you being his cheerleader you making a meal for him as much as you can you you know, keeping up your appearance because you are, it's a high level man. You take care of yourself, look good, you know, like want what you want in life as a woman. It's okay. Like shoot high, but make sure you are doing the work within yourself as well. And you are complete. Not that I'm incomplete. I need a man to come complete me. No, that's not how it works. So I, I think women should just work on themselves. Mm-hmm. That, that is so profound and just on the topic of women and i just really can't just want not to talk about this but on women empowerment why is it that 
um, it's so hard for us ladies to just be together and work together because I mean, if we were to work together, there's just gonna be one spark that would literally just cause havoc. We 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 can't we can't be together, and it's really disruption. And why? What is that? <laughs> why is that? yo like? There's, there's, there's a, so many reasons, obviously, but ones I can think of is, ooh, number, number one, it's touchy. Like, I apologize in advance. <laughs> and the whole thing about my YouTube channel is, I'm, I'm, I'm real. We, we, we have to get to a point where we are just real with ourselves. Women tend to tear each other down a lot. And I think one of the reasons is, insecurity a lot of women are insecure right because if i'm insecure and i see you doing well instead of clapping for you i'm gonna say find something just find something to hold on to and tear you down so number one is that there's a lot of women that are insecure unhappy with themselves and when they see a woman happy thriving pushing their goals they want to bring them down number Number two is jealousy. <laughs> Come for me. <laughs> it's jealousy. Like people, are je- women, we tend to be jealous of each other. How? Why do I say that? For example, there's a woman who's happy, has a man, takes care of him, takes care of her. I mean, sorry, and then she shares it with her friends her close friends like guys i'm so happy this is what's happening and these friends could be friends for 20 years 30 plus whatever we've heard many stories of women just taking other women's men you know like like, i mean if she's so happy and he's giving her all this money i deserve it more than she does therefore i'm gonna find a way to get in and get it for myself, right? And and it goes back to insecurity, jealousy. I think a real sisterhood is about lifting each other up. If you're succeeding, if you're happy, I clap for you. I'm happy as if it's my success because I know my turn is coming, right? And I feel like people, women, let's say it's not your turn yet you can't wait on god you can't wait so rather in the waiting process you would rather be angry you would rather be jealous you would rather bring down another woman instead of saying look i'm happy for you i was with you in the struggles i saw you cry i saw you pray and finally you got it i'm so happy for you if god can do it for you he can do it for me too that's the kind of mindset we should have but sadly a lot of us don't and it should end really. And I hear you talking about sisterhood, you know. As a young lady, I'm 19, I've witnessed for so I just you know the whole thing. But instead, I put sisterhood with you, regardless of our age difference. As sisterhood, have like an age difference does it have like a specific age like you're too old you know like i'm using that as an example like, are they no the question is um uh, is there a limit to sisterhood right no absolutely not there's no limit because i'm 30 right and i don't know you could be 20 there's a lot that you can learn mm-hmm. from me and there's a lot that i can learn from you mm-hmm. Right, because we're at different stages and we have different experiences, and I think that's where sisterhood comes in. Somebody who's 50, like I chill with women of all ages, I chill with women who are especially since I started the YouTube channel because I want to find out wisdom from them. Because I can't go on YouTube and act like I know everything. Some of the things that I speak about is things that I've learned from wise women, matured women, women who have gone through what. I haven't yet gone through and that's where I get my wisdom and I feel like there's no yeah there's no age limit there's no restriction in fact if we are 
ends and we're like 18. All of us are still in that phase of we are wild. Sfunu Kruva. We want to, you know, so if you are 18 and say, look, I want to, I want to chill with Bridget Mutlazi. I want to hear what she has to say. You might actually learn that where you are or the choices you're making will not serve you because I've been through that and I'm on the other side experiencing the consequences of that time. So while you are within your time, the smartest thing to do, girl, is to come to me and be like, hey, I'm in this predicament and I see you are, up, you know, 30, older, and you were young just like me. What advice do you want to give me? What mistakes have you made okay. that I can... Because people think you, you learn from your own, own mistakes, but you can learn from other people's mistakes so that you can actually avoid that mistake. That's, that's actually a smart way. So no limits for sisterhood. Sisterhood is just women who walk this thing called life together in friendship and uplifting one another. And the sky is the limit. Yeah. So take me down with the sisterhood whole thing, <laughs> yeah. right? If I heard right, and what are what are we talking about when we come together? What are our topics? When we meet, what are we talking about, honestly? You mean mm-hmm. um sisterhood in general, right? In- well, like a lot. Like as women right now in twenty twenty three let's talk about what what can we do to make money like yes you're working but inflations are high those got to be paid <laughs> so let's talk about what kind of business show me do you think i can start and mm-hmm. and y'all must be my first cu- you know customers but you know these are the type of things we must talk about building what does the future look like we can't be spending time and just drinking, partying only. Let's spend time thinking of how can this friendship, how can this sisterhood be beneficial to all of us? Let's talk about businesses. Hey, I found this site. You can do this this way. Um, I found out you can start your own skin line through a company and you have to do this and this. You know, let's do it together. Or see strengths in your friends for example my friends will always be like Bridget go back to singing (laughs) you know sing because we hear you you're always singing in the bathroom at work at school everywhere you are singing so go go chase that dream it's inside you and that's a sisterhood because something could have been dead in me a long time ago in regards to this specific thing and you could be that light that brings it back. Like, girl, you're good. Girl, go for it. Mm. You know? And other conversations are, let's call each other out. <laughs> Thank you. Let's call Thank each you. other out. You know, it, it's never nice for somebody to call you out that, yo, girl, what you're doing now, it's not working. But in sisterhood, there's love, there's respect. So we we tread carefully, but we are honest. We don't watch you hang yourself with a rope and be like, hey, you know, go ahead, girl. <laughs> no, the true sisterhood, the difference between a friendship and sisterhood is that I am my sister's keeper. I'm going to tell you when you're out of line in a loving way. And hopefully you can make the right choice and you do the same back to me. And these are the conversations that we should mm. talk about. There's so many, you know, but yeah. This is really so <laughs> profound. And re- I just really want to go back to the whole point of being a feminist because <laughs> I don't know why, but I know we're fighting to be equal with men and everything modern not me girl feminism. not me <laughs> not i'm just yeah. talking about the whole thing you know <laughs> because you know when you look on the internet people are now comparing um 
a male strength and a female strength you know it's like it's it's gone so like it's gone out yeah. of proportion it's it's been it's being so confusing like it's a thing of like how did we get here because now we're losing the whole point you know we're no longer fighting for for yeah. our right you know because someone could have a comment of saying that like like i have the rights okay some okay as a lady i have the right to abort my baby but does a man have the right to choose whether or not to carry like to to be a father or not yeah. but i have the right so like it's just like <laughs> really <laughs> <laughs> we could be empowering ourselves with such conversations but whereas like we're in competition right now with oh. male like and that's really that is so true. it's bad it's bad it's not going to get us anyway because said truth we need them whether they have money or not we need them <laughs> <laughs> we, we need them we, we really need them and it's so crazy that people are not seeing this like how will people start realizing that the males are not your enemy as much as they doing much yeah. wrong things but how can we get to the point where by we're not fighting we're not in competition once we lose that i think things can start being aligned we can things can start being in yeah. harmony you know it's really so crazy and i think that that's the first step that we can ourselves as women like in order for us to be in harmony and to be united is to fix yeah. that issue first that issue we have with me, because i think that's the roots of it all because i could be like i could take your man right or your man could come to me and i could literally hate yeah. you for that but i could not hate your man for that and that's literally the scariest thing we have as females that we always attack yeah. each other first and, and not like, the man why <laughs> you know when you emphasize that there's a difference with sisters and friendships it's like i hope with everyone listening here that they now know <laughs> who's a friend who's a and sister? who's a sister you know it's so profound like how would you like advise us to go on about starting a sisterhood what are the char- characteristics i should look into in another lady if i want to have a like a sisterhood yeah. you know what should i look for okay yeah. nice question um look it all starts with you look within yourself what are your goals what are your dreams where mm. do you see yourself what do you believe in because we don't believe in the same things so i feel like people when i have friends but at the end of the day they don't share much in common they don't believe in the same things you could be the complete opposite and i could be my life could be heading in a different you know direction i think we first start with saying okay i need to find women that are like me that that hate the modern day idea of feminism women who still believe in the nuclear family a mother a father and a child women who still believe believe this is my examples of who i would choose as friends people that yeah. believe mm-hmm. in the nuclear family in marriage in in being a wife and being a boss you know if you they say birds of the same feather flock together so in a sisterhood you need to look for women who clap for you women who are genuinely happy for you and the nice thing about us women is that we've got discernment we we can feel things so you can always feel if you are with somebody a friend that you should not be with because there's a constant unrest in your heart in your spirit that says i man i i actually don't feel like i fit in here <laughs> you know i i i constantly have to be pretending so that i i'm welcome and i'm embraced in this group of people so therefore that's the first sign i i shouldn't be here you chilling with women that are saying oh we don't need men in our lives ask yourself it starts with you do i need a, do i want a man like not alone in your room because when you're with friends you might confuse yourself and say yeah i also feel the same no 
what you feel is when you are alone and you're looking at life and you're evaluating everything and that's your decision and whatever that is that you feel find people that have similar interests find people that think the same way so if you guys are, have the same plan and you come together it's a bigger plan so yeah just That's choose so like minded people like you choose happy people choose women who don't gossip about other women you know choose women who who are about goals life love god you know choose what feels yeah. right i think everything i said the the summary is choose what feels right to you there's always a voice in you that says i don't like my friends i don't like what they're doing <laughs> i don't understand it and it's not something i want to do so why are you with him it's okay to cut people out it's really okay because what's mm. worse is going along with a group of people who you don't feel like yourself with it 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 sucks up your energy it it kills your drive it changes you you become a whole new person you you have no rest so just do what is right and what feels good to you and you will be fine ah thank you so much that is which is <laughs> so good and i like that me and my followers right here and your followers literally need to do that and uh, my followers are going to be so sad about this but i know that you're on short time but this conversation is literally it has to cut short and i'm sorry guys but the one last thing that i forgot to do i want you to introduce yourself <laughs> for <Bridget. laughs> because i know yourself so please introduce yourself guys guys i'm mutati bridget papir um i'm from which bank originally you know and got married in cape town i'm a creative everything creative i do you know i sing i i'm a yo i'm a creative you know it's uncomfortable when you have to talk about yourself you feel like you're bragging but anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm a creative i do radio I'm a student of radio production and I think that's why I started the YouTube channel because I like to speak and I like to speak on things that build women. I'm a girl's girl, you know. I love to see women thrive. I love to see women reach their goals why? Because we are powerful as women, but we are not powerful if we are negative. We are not powerful if we drag each other down. We are not powerful if we are jealous insecure we are the best version of ourselves when we are just feminine like be feminine be feminist be feminine be a woman be warm be kind that's that's just me and uh yeah follow me on my youtube channel you know a little ad mutati b so it's mutati b b double e i speak about situation ships i speak about mod- the lies that exist in modern day society i speak about everything that can empower women and my channel is not about putting all my views on people it's actually about creating conversations like you're doing right now and i'm so proud of you for that because we need to speak about some things you know some things we need to speak about because the other side that promotes bad things that promotes agendas they are loud and they are proud so therefore why are we quiet so that's me mm. in a nutshell fighter for women women empowerment creative a lover <laughs> your my sister, sister. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh Thank you so much for honoring this invite. I know this is not the no. last time. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. 
singing, on cooking, on being a content creator, everything, and being a fashion model, everything that we need to know. But thank you so much for honoring my invite. And this is it, guys. Um, I'll, I'll leave all your details when I post the video. People can follow you on Instagram and on YouTube. And trust me, guys, her YouTube is popping. The topics there are popping. I literally sit with my jaw dropped <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh, one last thing. So thank you so much. Sorry to disturb. I'm going to a wedding. I want to shout out to Valencia and Ashley. It's their wedding day. Woo woo. <laughs> love, guys. Plus, it's the month of love. So thank you so much. I love you. Enjoy your day. Love you too. Bye. Bye.